guys, it's the Easter book again, and today we're going to be doing the lemon battery. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, we're going to test it. So we have six lemons, six shiny pennies, soapy water, a sharp knife, six zinc nails, and the little uh, battery leads, and a mini light bulb. Okay. Yes, I did say knife, but don't worry, my mom will be handling that part. Okay, what the book says is step one, we roll and squish our lemons to get the juices flowing. Okay, let's get it rolling. Okay. Okay, now it says step two, to wash the pennies. I think I found these on the road, so let we're getting the dirt off, so let's get doing it. So you just put it in with the soapy water and just like scrub it a little bit. And then after a little while, I'll be good. This is what someone probably meant about having a pretty penny. <laughs> we're going to use the knife to cut a half inch slit along the lemons. There, that should be about half inch. Now we're going to slide each penny into the slit of each lemon. This one was okay. This will just take a little while. Oh, and be sure to push the penny in far enough so that it reaches the lemon's juicy insides. So next, I'm going to put a, a nail, the nail into the lemon about an inch away from the screw and have about half an inch out. Away from the penny. Yeah. Half an inch out. Okay, good. And yes, I know it's a screw. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it's a screw or a nail, make sure it's zinc galvanized or else it won't work. Now we're going to arrange them in a circle so it's easier to connect them. Okay, okay so next step, we're going to get one of the alligator clips and clip it onto the first penny and get the other end of the same one and clip it on to the nail. Of or the next of lemon. the next lemon, okay? Now we keep, we uh, continue doing this. We'll make sure um, there's never one on the same one twice. Like you can't put this one on this one or else it won't work. They have to all be connected to each other. And you have to go all the way around because it's, um, you have to have a circuit to go all around. Okay. So you saw me clip the last alligator clip onto the um, last nail, but we're going to undo that. That was wrong. So we're going to set this aside, grab our final alligator clip, and clip it on. Oops. And then since we have both edges now, we'll grab the final piece, the LED, and spread it out, and clip, clip each one on. And if it, um, don't worry, oh. And so if it doesn't light up, you um, unclip this one, and you you twist it around to the other way. 
and since I dropped it, it might be, okay, let's see, no, nope, I might have mixed it up. So, um, and if that doesn't work, try all your connections. It works! I can't see. It's glowing! Where? Right there! It works! There it is! It works! That's crazy. But we use, um, like, a cross of oranges and lemons. Imagine if it was completely lemons. Yes, that would completely work. <laughs> that is cool. Mm -hmm. So why it works is because the zinc in the screw um, mixes with the acid in the lemon juice and it makes a chemical reaction which ends up making electricity and it keeps building up and once it hits the copper, it travels through the copper and goes through the electric uh, wires and it keeps going on through every lemon until it gets to the light <clears throat> once it get in, gets in it goes up the electricity uh, it goes up and once it reaches the light bulb it puts off some of its energy into the light bulb and then keeps going on in a circuit so we used um, uh, half orange and half lemon to do it and it didn't work so we added in our only lemon and it was a little dim so I think with all lemons, it'll be like, you could see it from, um, you could see it pretty good. So hopefully you try this at home and um, tell your experiences down in, in the comments below. And for more science videos, subscribe. And please let us know what happens if you use all lemons. Thank you.